One of the last great human die-offs took place just 500 years ago, when up to 70% of the indigenous population of the Southern Americas, over 100 million people living in Mexico and Central and South America, were driven to near extinction by a confluence of catastrophes that began in the year 1519, obliterating not just lives, but entire civilizations over the course of the next 50 years. The destruction of the native peoples of Mexico and the Americas was heralded by a falling star, a comet that was predicted by the main calendars to appear in the eastern skies in the year 1519. In that year, the god of the cross and the plumed serpent was predicted to arrive in the east, and native civilizations and their gods would be destroyed. The predictions were not based on prophecy or superstition, but scientific cosmological observation and a system of interlinked calendars developed thousands of years before. The future, they believed, was linked to the past. According to the Mayas, this world has been destroyed and recreated five times in the past. These beliefs cannot be dismissed as silly superstitions, for in fact, five times in the history of the Earth, our planet was struck by life-destroying meteors and beset by a confluence of catastrophes which caused mass extinctions and the death of most animals on this planet. And not just animals, but entire human civilizations have been repeatedly destroyed. The Mayan and Aztec calendars were based on the solar year of 365 days, another on a 260-day year in the orbit of Venus. Yet another was called the Long Count and was used to compute and calculate cosmic events which occurred hundreds, thousands, and even millions of years before, and to predict when similar events and calamities would happen again. Most calendars are based on astronomical cosmic events, including the phases of the moon, the Earth's orbit around the sun, and the rotation of the twelve constellations. Calendars are linked to the cosmos and serve to predict the future, when to plant and harvest the crops, the coming of winter and summer, the time of year when leaves and rains will fall. The Mayan Aztec calendar predicted not just the coming of the seasons and the days of the week, but when entire civilizations might fall. And exactly as predicted, in the year 1519, a comet appeared in the east, and the peoples of the Americas and their magnificent civilizations were destroyed. The tragedy was of epic proportions and then nearly forgotten, for history is almost invariably written by the victors. But make no mistake, the cities and civilizations of ancient Mexico, and what is now South America, were highly advanced in the arts, sciences, culture, and accomplishments. There were hundreds of thriving cities that were humming with trade, commerce, science, and learning. Cities which were more populous, more advanced, and cleaner than any others on Earth. The Mayas, Toltecs, Olmecs, Aztecs, and Incas were astronomers and mathematicians and had made advanced mathematical and cosmological discoveries a thousand years before scientists in the West, such as the concept of zero or nothing. They erected great pyramids, astronomical observatories to chart the stars. They speculated about death and the afterlife as related to the planets and the cosmos, where astronomer priests and scientists studied the stars and conducted complex mathematical rituals and employed a variety of mind-bending hallucinogenic substances to open their minds to cosmic wisdom. The Mayas accurately determined the solar year, the orbit of Venus, the orbit of our solar system around the Milky Way galaxy. Mathematical equations, calculations, and predictions decorated public buildings, monuments, pyramids, and temples. Some scholars believe the Mayan priesthood worshipped math and the concept of time. The Mayas and the natives of the Americas believed in the concept of eternal recurrence, of repeating cycles of death and destruction as related to the movement of the planets and stars, the orbit of our solar system around the galaxy, and cosmic events as symbolized by the plumed serpent god Quetzalcoatl. The Mayan Aztec people predicted their own obliteration based on cosmology and repeating cycles of death and destruction. Thus it was predicted that in the year 1519, a comet, a plumed serpent, 
would snake across the heavens and appear in the east, heralding the arrival of the plumed god of the cross, Quetzalcoatl, and the complete annihilation of native civilization and their gods. And as predicted, in the year 1519, a comet appeared in the east, witnessed by Montezuma, the Aztec emperor. That same day, Cortez arrived off the coast of Mexico with his plumed and armor-clad soldiers and monks carrying the God of the Cross. Lightning struck the Aztec capital, buildings caught fire, and the plumed Cortez and priests carrying the sign of the cross slowly marched onward into history. The Aztec capital of nearly 500,000 souls sparkled like a diamond and sat like a jeweled flower in the center of a shimmering lake. When the first Spaniards laid eyes on the capital of the Aztec Empire, they thought they had entered a world of enchantment, fantasy, and hallucinogenic dreams. The Spaniards could not believe their eyes and asked aloud if it was all a dream, a dream that soon became a nightmare for the natives of the Americas. This enchanting vision of this heavenly holy city was turned into a living hell. Montezuma was so astonished by the appearance of the comet and then Cortez and his monks carrying the God of the Cross, exactly as predicted, that he felt powerless and allowed himself to be taken away by Cortez soldiers and then murdered. And exactly as predicted, the Aztecs, Incas, the natives of America, their civilizations, cities, and their gods were destroyed, the people driven to near extinction, falling victim to a confluence of catastrophes conquered by guns, cannon, disease, and germs. <laughs> Spaniards and the Catholic priests were consumed by an insane lust for blood. They indulged in a satanic orgy of sadism and engaged in the most horrific nightmarish atrocities imaginable. They murdered, raped, tortured, set people on fire, buried them alive, dashed babies to death against rocks, tore out eyes and tongues, cut off arms, legs, heads, testicles and breasts, and fed body parts to their dogs. So sadistically nightmarish and diabolical were the Spaniards and the Catholic priests, they even burned people alive in groups of 13 to honor Jesus Christ and the Twelve Apostles. And when victims lay screaming and moaning in nightmarish pain, the Spaniards shoved sticks down their throats to muffle their cries so as to not disturb the Spaniards and the priests when they slept at night. The unwashed Spaniards, who like most Europeans of their day, had lived in filth and carried germs, disease, and plague against which the native peoples had no resistance. Aztec and Inca warriors grew ill and fell to the ground even as they battled the Spaniards. The natives were filled by smallpox and all manner of plague and disease and became so helpless and ill to fight they were easily conquered. By some estimates, over 70% of the native population of Mexico and the Central and South Americas grew sick and died. Everywhere, people were dying. The Empire of the Incas was next. The Inca Emperor, like Montezuma, foolishly allowing himself to be taken captive by the Spaniards and then murdered.
The advanced civilization of the Aztecs, and then the Inca Kingdom, guarded by 80,000 Inca warriors, was completely annihilated. By some estimates, 80 million people, 70% of two continents, were wiped out. Their temples, their art, their books, and their history, wiped from memory, obliterated and destroyed, exactly as predicted, an entire continent and a third of another emptied of its people. Natives who survived were tortured, branded, and enslaved, worked to death in fields and mines. Not content with killing, torturing, and enslaving, the Spaniards and the Catholics burned all Aztec and Mayan books and forced the natives to destroy and dismantle, brick by brick, stone by stone, their great temples and cities. Thus, exactly as predicted, from the Aztec Empire in Mexico to the Incas of Peru, entire civilizations and great cities were destroyed. And as predicted by the Mayan calendars, the gods of the Aztecs, Incas, and native peoples of the Americas were completely overthrown and replaced by the god of the cross, who was worshipped in their place. Most calendars are based on rotating cycles, dates repeating themselves, and not just dates, but anniversaries, birthdays, and when to celebrate or lament historical events. Calendars serve to regulate human behavior, to plan and predict the future, and the best predictor of the future is the past. According to the Mayan Aztec calendars, these cosmic cycles have again come full circle. In this time, the entire world has a date with destruction. The year 2012 marks the beginning of the end. The great cosmic serpent, we are warned, will return. Our date with destruction? December 21st, 2012. But remember, before you sell your house, drop out of school, quit your job, or sell everything to have the party of a lifetime, the destruction of these people, their gods, and their civilization did not take place in a single day. And ultimately, although their fate may have been written in the stars, it was also determined by the foolish ignorance of their leaders.